Good morning and welcome on aboard uh, my sailboat Oceans 5. Continuing the preparations for the uh, passage from Thailand to the Seychelles. Today I'm working <clears throat> on the wind vane. And if you're not familiar with a wind vane, a wind vane is a mechanical device that steers the boat, self-steering. So that I could set it, it'll steer the boat in the right direction. The first time I saw a wind vane actually working, I had or it was on my last boat. It was a Cape Horn made by a gentleman in Quebec, Canada. Excellent device, but even with the instructions and even when I was installing, I still couldn't figure out exactly how does this thing work. And it was only when I was actually using it that the thing sprang to life and I could understand exactly how clever, how simple it is. You may have heard of a Hydra Vane and Ares, there are all sorts of uh, designs now, but essentially they are the same. Um, so let's go outside and we'll I'll see if I can explain it. So this is Wanda the Wind Pilot, German made. This part here is the paddle and it swings backwards and forwards as you can see. And the way these work, very very simple but very clever. So we have wind coming on this side and that side in equal amounts and the thing stays vertical. Okay. If the boat starts to turn off course slightly then we would have more wind say on this side than that side. So the, the paddle would start to, to fall off like that. When that happens down here, see that lever going up and down? Not by very much but just enough. So the lever goes up and down. Now let's look down there as the lever, see that lever, okay see the lever going up and down and it's turning that up and down motion into, see the oar in the water is turning. So the wind is on this, the wind comes on this side, the oar turns, now when the boat is moving There'll be water hitting that oar and the force of that water hitting it would push it push it to one side or the other. So say supposing the wind was on this side and, it, and the uh, oar turns like that, see how it's turned, then this by the force of the water, boat moving through the water, the paddle would turn and it pulls on these lines here and these lines that come through a block and comes to the comes to the tiller, which is connected to the rudder. And as the line turns, see how it's it's difficult to, to demonstrate when the boat's not moving. But these lines turn the turn the rudder, turn the tiller, which turns the rudder. The boat comes back onto course. The paddle comes upright again, and the oar is straight. The boat goes off the other way, the oar turns, the force of the water moving would push the oar up, that would pull the control lines and the tiller would turn. Now, how do you set it up? Well, these red lines here, there used to be a gear and you could do this, but it's all worn away because this wind pad is actually over 20 years old. But it still works very well. So, you can, by pulling these lines you can turn and that turns the whole assembly. So I can get the sails set, right? put the sails up, get the sails set, get the boat balanced so there's not undue pressure on the tiller at all, but just basically you could hold the boat on course with your finger and then you set this so that you can turn it so that it's directly into the wind, the same wind on both sides, and then we're good to go and it, it as long as the boat's going more than about two knots, which is about just over um, two miles an hour, so a sort of slow walking pace, um, then the boat will steer itself. It is absolutely remarkable and it uses no electricity, it's fully mechanical and the faster the boat's going and the stronger the wind, then the more force is generated and the, um, the more power the system has. So there we are, there's a wind vane and you'll see them on the back of a lot of um, uh, blue water boats, boats that go offshore. Coastal boats not so much because coastal winds tend to be much more 
um, variable, much more changeable, so you'd always be setting this thing. The one thing about wind vanes is that they steer a course as an angle of the wind. So if the wind shifts, the boat changes course. And more than one boat has come to grief because the wind changed and the person on watch wasn't paying attention and the boat hit something. So there we are, this is a wind vane, this is Wanda, a valuable and much respected member of the crew of Oceans 5.